welcome back to the video guys and uh, you're watching pep stories so it's a very wonderful day today it's almost uh, 8 am in the morning and you can see the bright uh, very soft sunlight sneaking in through the window and uh, i think it's making me look a little better <laughs> okay so today's topic in the video as you might have already seen the thumbnail is a tb test for the uk visa uh, so for the very first time when i heard that for the uk visa i have to do a tb test i was like what but uh, yeah like this is one of the most essential criteria for your arrival in uk so it's not optional it's uh, mandatory to do a uk test sorry to do a tb test so let's talk about uh, the steps involved in doing a tb test step by step so the first thing is uh, it can't be done from a random testing lab you have to do it only through the authorized uh, tb testing labs which are authorized by the uk visa embassy so there are certain labs in every city in every big city uh, authorized uh, by the uk visa authority and you can do it over there so uh, talking about my experience personally so i had a very uh, very weird experience like none of my vi uh, visa process was smooth and uh, so first of all i uh, uh, come from a small uh, city called as vardha so near vardha there was uh, inside vardha basically there was no uh, uh, testing lab for this uh, tb thing and uh, the closest to me was at nagpur so in nagpur there were two uh, testing labs one was in dantoli and uh, another was in itwari so i felt uh, itwari was the closest so i went to a testing lab called as a, a sarda testing lab over there Uh, so as soon as I reached over there, like I, had, I traveled almost uh, eighty, ninety kilometers, I guess at least ninety, hundred kilometers to reach over there. Uh, I took a bus to go to the uh, go to Nagpur, and then uh, took a cab from there to the uh, testing lab. Uh, when I reached over there, the first thing I realized is you need to have a appointment. that was the first blunder which happened with me that day uh, i did not uh, make an appointment actually previous night i had tried calling them but the phone was not reachable somehow and i could not make an appointment so i just told them that i have uh, come from very far please do consider my appointment and uh, they were like okay just because like you, you have come from like 100 kilometers we will consider you for appointment and we will just uh, directly uh give it the appointment but then happened the another blunder which was for a tb test you need mainly original passport two passport size photographs and a university confirmation letter so i had the university confirmation letter passport photos could be managed but for some dumb reasons i had not carried my passport with me my original passport with me because uh, i did not check the website thoroughly and another reason was i was going to take my passport with me but i thought like i'm traveling to a different city what if i lose my passport and like it it creates more struggle for me so i just uh, avoided uh, taking my passport which was my biggest mistake for the day and uh, i i was i was like why why does this keep happening to me i uh, i just don't uh, wanted to go back to the uh, go back to vardha get my passport and like again travel 100 kilometers at the same place uh, i did not wanted to do that so i started like uh, convincing the receptionist over there to please consider me because i had this uh, passport scan copy on my uh, email address but she wasn't ready to listen but uh, i think i was too adamant for that so i just uh, stayed there for another 20 minutes i sat in front of her 
and she was like okay i'll do one thing i'll call the main doctor and if he says yes you can go ahead with a scanned copy a digital copy of your passport we will allow you so i requested her again she made a call to the doctor few minutes later she came back to me and said uh, the doctor is saying no you can't uh, do it without original passport we are abided by the rules and we have to follow the rules uh, then i was almost uh, kind of uh, feeling that i need to go back and uh, get my original passport but at the same time uh, i saw a man in a white robe uh, coming down and he was probably going going out of the main door so i figured it out that he was the doctor he was the main doctor so i asked her again in front of him he noticed like what i was saying but he just ignored so the receptionist told me like if you want to like talk you can like directly go and talk to him so i approached him again i started like uh, requesting him <laughs> and the the good part is like uh, in india if you talk to someone a little politely and mainly in english uh, they do consider you so luckily that was uh, what happened with me i kept requesting him for like 10 minutes like uh, completely chewing his head and uh, after 5 minutes he was like okay go get your passport photos and uh, get the colored uh, xerox of your passport uh, from the digital copies you have on your email and then come back and uh, he asked me if uh, at least i have a aadhar card or other verification proof so that he can like confirm the name of the passport and the aadhar card luckily i had aadhar card pan card my license everything the only thing i did not have is the main document the passport so i went i went searching for a, a photo booth and uh, me being a photographer that day uh, still i was like struggling to get a small photograph and it felt felt really really bad like i kept walking to find this uh, photo studio where i finally clicked my uh, passport size photos so in this case uh, if you are clicking a passport size photos for the tv documents it should be either in white uh, as a background color i'm saying uh, should be white or should be gray uh it shouldn't have like colors like uh, red uh, blue or anything so i came back from there and uh, yeah finally i got my xerox and all and i submitted everything to him but that was the time another blunder happened the doctor the main doctor the owner of the clinic who was convinced to uh, do me this favor by like slightly twisting his rules uh, has ended his shift and then another doctor came and he was a guy in the 60s and he was very adamant just like me and he was not at all listening to me and not letting me uh, get the test done without the original passport i kept requesting him but he did not allow uh but i just for some reasons i was very 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 tired that day i was very uh kind of stressed out and burnt out because of all the visa process i had been doing like going to all the different offices collecting documents and all so i was just burnt out so i was not feeling like going back home so i stayed there for another hour sitting in front of his lab uh, his lab is a uh, sorry his cabin and uh, the people working over there at the uh, sarda image clinic they were they were seeing me they were like watching me and uh, at last they they felt like some kind of empathy for me and they just uh, came to me and said let's do one thing uh, let let's try to uh, convince him once more so i went inside them with him and i again asked him uh, in his cabin if i can do the test as i showed him all my other identity documents i showed him the digital uh, passport copy again i showed him the color xerox of it i showed him the university letter and uh, he scolded up scolded me a bit because even it was wrong on my side that i was a little irresponsible uh, but finally uh, he agreed but he also scolded his employees uh, i was really thankful uh, thankful to them for taking a scolding from their boss just because of me and uh, yeah then i finally got my test done and the reports were like uh, given to me immediately like another with uh, another 15 20 minutes so basically first of all uh, you'll get a uh, x-ray like this and then you get uh, two certificates 
one would be like this i'm gonna keep it blur in the video for some reasons and other one is this so yeah this were the documents which were required uh, uh, to get the tb test uh, report which needs to be submitted for the visa thing and after so much of us i got them and uh, yeah so uh, one more thing i would like to tell you is uh, uh, the tb test is valid only for 6 months and uh, i'll be providing the link to the tb uh, test centers in india the authorized ones in the uh, description box in the video and one suggestion from my side <laughs> carry your passport don't do the blunders i have done uh so that they don't uh uh so that everything happens smoothly and you don't have to like run around uh, run around like me trying to convince everyone to uh, so just carry all the all the documents required and i think uh, that was all for today's video i hope you guys like this video and uh, i try to bring out to you the most uh, honest content which is also informational which can uh, save you time and uh, help you from doing the mistakes the blunders the dumb things i have been doing through my visa process so thank you so much for watching guys see you in another video stay tuned keep subscribing and uh, comment below